welcome back to my mother popcorn thank you for clicking on this video if you guys are new my name is stephanie and if you've been with me for a while what do you guys think of the new filming section check this out right here this is like my very first fan gift right here without further ado today we're gonna be talking about ford versus ferrari Ford vs. Ferrari is rated PG-13. It is a drama sports movie. It is 2 hours and 33 minutes long. Release date is November the 15th. It is directed by James Mangold. And it stars Christian Bell as Ken Miles, Matt Damon as Carol Shelby. So Ford vs. Ferrari is actually based upon a true story. When Henry Ford II actually decided to get into racing cars. The movie more so is about building these cars to make them great. They're, they're making a winning vehicle. So you do get a lot of test driving, shop talk, and what they need to do, and the angles, and the height, and the this, this, and that. So if you are into like car building, I feel you're really, really going to enjoy this film. So Ford did want to enter, of course, the Le Mans to be able to beat Ferrari. How many ever years it is? Ferrari have been killing it at the Le Mans. Ford ends up hiring Shelby, which is played by Matt Damon, to be able to build this car. Now, he's actually the only American who had ever won at that time. I don't know how it is now, that particular race. He had to retire due to heart uh, problems. Christian Bell does amazing because he's freaking Christian Bell and he does great and everything. Um, mind you, he lost a lot of weight for this film. He literally had just came out of playing uh, Dick Cheney and Vice. So of course Shelby wanted Miles to be part of this, but Miles is not the best example of what Ford actually is or what they're going for, which was class, and which is actually something that Leo would say, which is played by Josh Lucas. He's not Ford material. You know, of course Ford has a uh, way how they want to be represented. So they did not want uh, Miles to be part of this, let alone Leo. Leo absolutely hated Miles. So with that, let's go ahead and just move really quickly over to Josh Lucas, who does play Leo. And I mean, Josh plays another like douchebag asshole. I'm, I'm just gonna say it right now, you guys. I loved this movie. It's so good. I know I said early on that it's not a racing movie because it's not really the heart and soul of the film it does have more to do with the building and the really in the friendships the movie does have a lot of humor so you will get quite a few laughs in here so it's kind of almost like like shelby and miles versus the suits or like shelby and miles versus ford that versus ferrari in a way i guess it's because they're, they're going all around I me mean, i know that ford and shelby and and uh are supposed to be like one but they do butt heads because the creative differences okay you guys and i'm just gonna mention this because it is absolutely hilarious and it's not a spoiler because it is in the trailer but when shelby ends up taking uh for the second basically on this um joyride just to kind of show him what the car can do he is about to shit his pants and then ends up crying it is absolutely hilarious. I loved it. It's gonna be like another Jojo Rabbit, you guys. Absolutely loved it. I feel like it's gonna be one of my favorites of the year. I can keep talking about it, and but I'm gonna shut up because I don't wanna give you guys any spoilers. Yes, you guys, I full on recommend for you guys to go see this movie when it comes out in theaters. I love their chemistry together. I think they were paired perfectly. They feed off of each other great. If you like classic cars, you're gonna love this movie. If you love building cars, you're gonna love this movie. If you love racing, you're gonna love this movie. Regardless if they don't race as much as you would expect them to or you would want them to. But you, I feel like you're going to really enjoy when they are racing because the sh they are really shot beautifully. It is over two hours long and unlike Midway, I did not feel it in this film because I just enjoyed myself throughout the whole thing. I know what, these last few movies that I've seen, I, I have really enjoyed most of them. Uh, yeah, I know that I, there was a moment that I was not recommending you guys to see anything in theaters. So if you've seen Ford vs. Ferrari, let me know down below what you guys thought about it. Did you love it or did you just like it or did you just absolutely hate it? Oh my God, please don't just absolutely hate the movie. With that said, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!